The New York Knicks have been maybe the NBA surprise out of the gate, 5-3, and three, but how are they getting it done? First of all, a lot of defense. If you're sick and tired of seeing guards be able to just come right off screens and hit mid-range jumpers right around here or dribble around forever with their man on their back, you're going to like watching Tom Thibodeau's Knicks play defense. Instead of having the big sit all the way back here in the paint, just waiting and waiting and waiting, they're not afraid to get up and aggressive and have the big further towards the level of the screen to discourage the guard, again, from just dribbling around all day, from taking those mid-range jumpers. They pull in from the weak side, ready to tag the roll man, and then they're just fundamentally solid. Great stunt there by Bullock from the corner. How about that? A good old-fashioned closeout from R.J. Barrett. When was the last time we saw a good, short, choppy step closeout in the NBA? Show the ref your hands. Take away the foul situation at the end. Nerlens Noel been one of the best rim protectors in the league off the bench. He's done a great job blocking shots. Alfred Payton, you're going to see on Donovan Mitchell right here, knock the ball away. He's been one of the top defensive point guards in the league. They're giving up the third lowest opponent field goal percentage. Even Austin Rivers, the veteran, not typically known for his defense. Look at him do a great job here, pursuing from behind, getting his hands up on the pass. That's textbook. That's how you draw it up. And if you don't play hard for Tom Thibodeau, you are not going to play, period. So how Tom Thibodeau fixed the Knicks, starting with the defense, make sure to thumb up and subscribe so you can see the offensive video coming out tomorrow tackling Julius Randle and how their offense is improved from last year. Let's dive a little bit more, though, into the details of the defense. They're giving up the lowest opponent three-point percentage in the league, around 29.5%. That is super, super low. It comes from situations like this. They are flying hard at shooters, trying to funnel basically everything to the rim, to Mitchell Robinson and Nerlens Noel, where they can impact and scare guards away from strong finishes all the way at the basket. Again, they also do a great job of basically fighting over almost all screens like this one here. They're not going to go under this and let Malcolm Brogdon take this shot off a dribble handoff. But then also they are clogging the paint. Like I said, they have the big back and a drop, as you see Noel right here. But they also have Julius Randle, again, from the weak side, starting in a gap. Instead of starting with his man tight, hug to Holiday, that way you'd have to go in, then back out. They start in, which means instead of making two efforts, all they have to do is just get back out to contest the shot. They're willing to live with a contested slot three shots like this, but they are not willing to let you pick them apart inside the paint, get layup after layup. That's the shot they're going to live with, not layups, not things that really attack you at the basket. Look at Payton, great job again being in a gap there. RJ gets beat, but Julius Randle is ready right there to come on over. And then, look, they fly around. That's what they do. Like I said, they're going to give up some threes. They're still giving up a lot of them, the fifth most in the league. But like I said, the lowest percentage, and it's because of high effort plays like that. Contest from Mitchell Robinson. Tom Thibodeau, again, demands you contest every shot with tremendous intensity. Here you see Alfred Payton. This is a pin down play for Clarkson. Look at him just do a great job with physicality, contact, touch him up, takes away Clarkson coming off the screen. And then Donovan Mitchell, again, wants to just dribble off ball screens, take his pull-up shots. R.J. Barrett is going to fight over the screen and stay with his man, not let Donovan Mitchell just keep him on his back. Look at R.J. do a great job fighting to get back in front. That basically nullified the entire ball screen. Nothing happened out of that. Great contact switch by Austin Rivers, being alert. Small, small screen, easy. Switch this. That's switching with physicality, with contact. And, okay, Rivers got his ankles broken a little bit, but Mitchell clanked the three, so that's why you didn't see it on all the highlight shows. Again, the one thing they will end up giving up some is the three ball, particularly off of ball screens. Again, when you have the big dropped all the way back at the rim, yes, yeah, sometimes you're going to have times where the point guard, the guard defender, can't always get all the way over to get a great contest up. And that's why, again, teams are getting a lot of threes up. So, the question is, can they continue to stay at the league low? Normally, the league lows around 33% from three. They're at 29.5. Uh, a little bit of luck, certainly, going into that, but for sure, also a ton of effort and commitment. But again, uh, normally shots like this aren't going to be missed all that often in the NBA. Certainly, they are playing with fire a little bit, and you can expect that opponent three-point percentage uh, to definitely rise up a bit. So we'll see how much that impacts their top seven defense in the league right now. But again, 
definitely their commitment to trying to make everything tough, to trying to take away as many easy threes as possible is admirable. Look at R.J. Barrett. Again, once his man's picked up the ball, fly, fly at the shot there. When you know when the man's picked up his dribble, that's when you don't have to be worried about staying on the ground. You can fly at that shot. Makes Brogdon get rid of it to Turner, and then Mitchell Robinson is a wall at the basket verticality straight up doing a great job not fouling as much this year we'll talk about later they also are doing a phenomenal job this is called low man principle in the NBA lowest man away from the ball is the one that's ready if the ball handler defender gets beat because he's playing aggressive up here we're ready to come in and help and we're going to absolutely take away the basket great job coming over make sure he doesn't have a layup and then we're going to X out RJ Barrett's guarding Oladipo right here He's going to be ready to rotate to the corner, and now Burks can rotate to Oladipo. And again, we'll live with a contested three. Can't take away every single shot. Have to give away something. Similar type scenario here. This time, Mitchell Robinson is the low man on Mitchell's baseline drive again. He does a great job coming over. Randall covers on his man, and R.J. Barrett once again does a great job seeing that Mitchell's looking at this corner pass and dropping down to the corner to steal that. Here you see, again, Rivers doing a great job fighting over the screen with physicality, touching up Bogdanovich, and then, sure, Barrett gets beat a little bit on the catch-and-go, but Mitchell Robinson, last year he would have been flying at this, jumping like crazy. This time he does a great job staying down, being under control, not overreacting, and eventually lets even Barrett get back to a contest on a tough Clarkson 7-8 foot jumper. And Robinson finishes it off with a rebound. That is great, great defense. Here again, look at the ball pressure, the whole possession. Look at Alfred Payton again fighting over the screen. Mitchell Robinson not super high up, but also not all the way back at the rim. So Mitchell can't just play games in here and dribble around all day. And look at this. We call this a little bit of like cat and mouse. Robinson, again, is faking like he's, okay, am I going to take the ball or am I going to drop back to Gobert, make sure he doesn't get the lob. He does a great job kind of being in between so much that when Mitchell tries to get it off the rim, off the backboard at the last second, Robinson blocks it away. Again, one of the best shot blockers in the league, but he's being a little more conservative this season, not jumping for ones he can't get, and it's definitely paying off, leading to some offense from their defense. Here, okay, Mitchell scores, but what I was more impressed by is Mitchell Robinson, again, not fouling, not playing as reckless as he has in years past, tries to contest it with verticality, doesn't get it, but in years past, that's probably a three-point play or just a terrible foul. Here, he does a much better job showing the ref his hands. Donovan Mitchell, tough finish. Again, can't take away everything, but great defense there by Robinson. And then, finally, like I mentioned, they have made it clear to him. Last season, I remember even so many times a guard would lift up for a shot, for a three, for a float or whatever. Robinson would go to block it every single time. This year, he's doing a much better job realizing, okay, the contest for this shot, it's his job. It's the guard's job. Alfred Payton coming from behind. Rear view contest. Try to block that at the end. But Mitchell Robinson is not going to keep jumping and jumping. He's going to basically fake like he's going to Mitchell but then end up dropping back at the very end so he can get that rebound. Great read defensively. He's having a tremendous defensive season. Again, we see here against Brogdon up at the level of the screen, not letting him just come off and take these threes off the dribble he's been killing teams with all season. Again, Randall in the paint, in the paint, taking away those drives. Here again, start in, they're in the gaps. Good man defense looks like a zone. That's what it even looks like there. Randall gets turned around for a second, loses his man, but Bullock is ready again to rotate X out for him. Randall's ready to rotate to his in the corner. Again, you live with one shot, you live with a contested three. Here, watch how they basically, again, make sure they take away the paint. We know Mike Scott is a good shooter. We know these guys over here are good shooters, but we can't let Ben Simmons dunk on us. That's the one thing we absolutely have to take away. Nerlens Noel does a great job in his drop. Again, though, you see Randall on the weak side sitting in the paint. Knox being in the paint. So then when the pass goes out, Knox again is ready to X, rotate to Randall's man, challenge the Mike Scott shot. But again, you're making sure nothing in the paint, no Ben Simmons layups, no dunks. Finally, you'll see it again here. 
as Donovan Mitchell comes off a side drag. Again, look how many bodies he sees. Everybody's got a foot in the paint. Everybody's ready to come in and make sure, again, that we're not going to give up this layup. That's why Peyton's all the way in there. So, again, Bullock X's out. Okay, so you know what? He flew Bogdanovich off the corner three. That's a good, aggressive flying at the shooter. And, again, he gets a three up, but we'd rather him taking this shot fake, side dribble, relocate three instead of the pure catch and shoot to the corner. That's a much tougher shot. Thanks for watching. Again, make sure you thumb up and subscribe. Offensive breakdown coming tomorrow. How Tibbs fix the Knicks.